Let us now look at the Veronese embedding. It is an embedding of Pn into some larger projective space p to the power n uh, of degree d using degree d polynomials. And the idea is that in this way, when we want to check something expressed by equations of degree d on p to the power small n, after the Veronese embedding, we will be able to have transformed these equations to equations of degree one, so linear equations on Pn and checking P capital N and checking them there. This uh, uses the fact that Pn is complete. So how do we do this? We look at all possible monomials of degree d in the variables x0 to xn or in the points x0 to xn and set this number to be n plus 1. So these are n plus d choose n monomials. And we can call them f0 to f capital N. So these f0 to f capital N are very concrete polynomials. Each of them is a monomial of degree d in these x0 to xn. Now, we claim that the following map uh, defines an isomorphism from Pn to its image. So the map is simply given by mapping a point x to these monomials evaluated at the point x. So uh, the first thing we need to check is that f of Pn is a projective variety. But this map is a regular map. Why is this a regular map? Uh, so it is so because among these uh, f0 to fn are the standard monomials. So observe that xi to the power d, where i goes from 0 to n, this is a subset of the set of these uh, f0 to fn. And these have no common zero in projective space. So in other words, the vanishing set of f0 to fn a fortiori is empty. And therefore, from previous results, we know that this defines a morphism. And then the image, well, f of pn, this is complete. So this is closed in p to the power n. It's a projective, uh, so it's a projective variety. And why is this an isomorphism? Well, we can define an inverse. So inverse of uh, this f is given as follows. Simply the idea is you take back um, the uh, xi's that are sitting in these monomials back to their original values. Uh, more precisely, we work on the affine set, so on x i dif uh, equals to different from zero, say set x i equals one, look at this affine patch, and then for all any x j, you can write as x j times x i to the power d minus one divided by x i to the power d. And viewing it this way, you can map this back to xj. This will be well defined because this is a quotient of monomials of the same degree. So this map is indeed an isomorphism. So we have, we can view Pn inside P capital N through an embedding of degree D. And 
This map, well, of course, technically we get different maps if we reorder the monomials differently, but for any ordering of the monomials, this map is called the degree D Veronese embedding, and the coordinates of uh, on Pn, restricted to the image of P small n, are called the Veronese coordinates on P small n. The uh, embedding and the coordinates are named for Giuseppe Veronese, who was active around the end of the uh, 19th, beginning of the 20th century. And this Veronese embedding can be extended to any projective variety. So we can do this for Pn, therefore we can do this for any closed subvariety, closed subset of P. As an application, we will have the following interesting result. Namely, if you take a projective variety and some homogeneous polynomial of degree d, not constant, then removing the zero set of this uh, one single polynomial provides you with an affine variety. So this means that from a projective variety you get an affine variety just by removing zeros of one non-constant homogeneous polynomial. So this can be proved in three short steps. Step one, if the polynomial is simply the polynomial x0, then x minus v of f, yeah, this is simply the affine um, the affine sort of slice in, in Pn. We have seen this many times. This is clearly affine. The second case is if f is a linear polynomial, homogeneous linear polynomial, then after a projective automorphism that we have seen, so changing coordinates uh, linearly, uh, you can bring yourself to the case where f is equal to x0 and use 1. So the f linear case corresponds to the degree being 1. The general case Well, use the degree D Veronese embedding. So F, say, from Pn to P capital N. Then F of X is a projective variety in um, what well, n and f of x is isomorphic to x and now f is linear in the Veronese coordinates and so we can use part 2 to conclude the same that removing v of f leaves us with an affine variety sitting inside f of x, capital F of x, but since capital F of x is isomorphic to x, we get what we want.